what makes this apartment special is it's got a very high ceiling so we've really seen the designers inserting a little hybrid pod with a mezzanine loft bedroom over the top which freed up the rest of the space to uh, make it feel a lot more spacious. The history of this building is it's a Victorian era a building. It has uh, four shops and uh, seven apartments. This happens to be the residual one at the end, which uh, is underneath the hip, and uh, it's about 40 metres squared in size. What we've really done is express the uh, ceilings and the truss within the design by inserting a little pod with hybrid spaces, that incorporating all the dining room, the kitchen and the services and even the bathroom. The kitchen, for instance, being loaded off a, um, a hallway rather than being its own space. We've gone for half module dishwasher and uh, we've gone for half module sink and kept everything sort of compact in that but still got plenty of bench space there and decent sized pantry and a little hidden appliance cabinet which you know creates quite a functional um, chef's kitchen as we would describe it. Within that very confined space and ceiling area we've had to uh, use an unconventional Japanese stair to, uh, to get up there and um, it was so tight that we actually end up putting a uh, 10 mil plate still landing in the staircase which actually formulates the ceiling of the shower and the bathroom. We've incorporated a dining facility into that which uh, can be used as a you know study during the day and, and has multi-functions in that aspect. We've got beautiful sunlight northern orientation in the living area which uh, makes it feel big and spacious while the other functions are extremely tightly designed. It feels overall like a big comfortable space to be in and I uh, imagine you can have a party here with 30 or 40 people and it would still feel like a decent sort of space. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo to receive updates on our latest episodes.